Well, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Almost four years ago, uh, we had to go to the state and make a presentation for a new hospital. And uh, if they were going to approve our project, we wanted to make sure that we left a healthcare facility here on our former campus. And so we made a commitment to the state that we would do that. And so we came back to Silver Cross right here. And Ruth Colby and I were talking. And we said to ourselves, how are we going to do this? And it became very clear to us that we wanted to work with an organization that was first class, that was premier, that was dominant in the area, that could make this vision happen very clearly and very rapidly. And of course, you know, we began our discussions with Ann Marcus. Over a, couple of, over a course of a couple years, we shared data, we talked about vision, and we talked about what needs to be done to get this done. And after that discussion, we finally realized that this was a perfect location, and this is what we should do. Raul and his staff did a magnificent job of presenting this and getting it organized. It's not an easy feat, and here we are today to celebrate their accomplishment, because they've really done a spectacular job. And so if we may, can we give their staff a round of applause, please? a facility, I believe, of 20,000 square feet. They'll have primary care, they'll have obstetrics, they'll have dental, they'll have mental health. It truly will be a fine facility. The other thing I'd like to point out is we have this campus over here and we're constantly looking at what we want to do with it. And this is a process where we involve many people in the process. And we're very fortunate that we have the Silver Cross Community Healthy Commission. And of course, that board is chairperson is Margie Woods. And so Margie, thank you, and thank you board members for being involved in all this. But the other person is, Margie has a sidekick. I don't know if you all know this, but they're like a dynamic duel. And you don't want to get in front of these two women, because they're going to roll right over you. And that's Margie and, of course, Ruth Colby. So Ruth, thank you very much. Finally, I, I get this question a lot, and I'd like to make sure that you understand what's happening here on this campus. Is behind you, you will see a building with a lot of glass, and that was our former ER. And as you probably know, that's where the VA clinic is going to be coming. Uh, they'll be in the midst of construction, and they'll be open up about a year from now. So a year from now, we'll have two excellent healthcare facilities on this campus. So once again, thank you. I look forward to this new building, and I think it will be a great improvement for Will County as well as Joliet. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.